I'm Dr. Brett Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, nutrition specialist, and featured BPI sports expert. And we do, I do have patients in here, literally, they'll come here and they'll be, you know, my height, so 5'7", and they'll weigh 350. And you know what I tell them? And this is I mean, right or wrong. Look, you know, the modified ketogenic diet is fine. This is a very, very small percentage of my patients. But for you, you probably need to go on a full ketogenic diet. Let's get that body fat off you. Why? Because I am worried about the, the potential inflammatory effects of the body fat on them. Um, it, it does terrible things to their glycemic control. They're all insulin resistant. And these are the things that are going to kill them. Right. All right. I'll deal with the muscle. I'll put them on a mod. I'll slow the fat loss down and start allowing them to gain some muscle, um, you know, in time. But we got to, and I've also, and this is more radical and I don't like it, but I have said to, to people, you're going to die. And I send them to the bariatric surgeon. Wow. You're going to die. You know, they'll come here, they'll be 5'7", they'll be 450. Mm. We've got a problem. Yeah, because at right? that... And you can't even... And how... What am I going to say? Hey, you just need to go on a modified keto. Right, Do you actually right. think that's going to work for those people? No, and at that point... The, There's no the chance. Trying to preserve muscle mass is completely out of the question. I'm not you worried about it at that off. point. Right. I'm, that's yeah. correct. Again, it goes back to what your goal is. Right. You know, it's funny having this conversation because over the past... I don't know, how many years would you say the term bro science has been? Bro like science, six, seven years. Six, seven years, say, you know, and it's, it's got this negative connotation to it, right? That you got a bunch of guys in the gym sure. that, that are just following the same, you know. Protocol. This protocol, weird, that, you what, know, yeah. and that there, there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no scientific or anecdotal evidence right. that supports it. The funny thing is, I don't necessarily feel that same way because I feel that it's still a science, it's a scientific method that for certain guys, when depending on how you do it. Now, if you just blindly take someone's advice, okay, that's one thing. Sure. But if you're going about it, and like you said, figuring out over time, being patient enough to figure out what works for you. Based upon your goals. Based upon your goals, because no other body is just like yours, right. then bro science isn't such a bad thing. No, you just need to. It's funny to say that to a doctor. Though. Right. <laughs> you, 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 you just need to understand. You just need to understand what your goals are, and then you need to move towards those goals, with whatever it, you, you need to do, right. macronutrient wise. Yeah. All right. Um, but anything that is going to require some degree of anabolism, um, in particular bodybuilding, to a lesser degree powerlifting, because that's very neural, right? It has to do with recruitment patterns and things like that, how fast you can, how quick you are. It's not really a... One to two reps, which right. you can do. Um, but just let's say it's bodybuilding. You're not going to amass muscle on a ketogenic diet. Well, right. that's just that's, not, you can't do it. It's not going to happen. That's well, that's, not how that's the body where works. the confusion is too. A, your average person associates strength and bodybuilding muscle size as the same thing when they're not. Right. That's the biggest difference. Definitely right. not. That's exactly right. So it's really, it's really, you know, bodybuilding or, or muscle hypertrophy and strength is, is, is somewhere up there and then power is way down here. Right. Be because you'll it's get a way lot, down here. You'll get a lot of guys that'll go out there and they'll be a power lifter following a ketogenic diet. Yep. And so then they'll start pulling in things like, well, the muscle sparing benefits and look at me, like you said, deadlifting yep. 500 pounds yep. and use that as support that you can be on a ketogenic diet and build muscle too. Right. When that's stupid and they don't... No, well, well, uh, <laughs> is that it's, scientific it's, term? It's just, it's, it, yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just stupid because what they're not realizing is that, is that, that power lifting is very much a, um, their ability to lift that weight. Um, while they like to assume it has to do with muscle size, that's a small amount of it. It's just that they are so well practiced at recruiting those muscles quickly. Right. That that's it's, what that is form. Them to, yeah. And they're, that's right. Like it's a said, lot of technique. That, that's yes. what I'll, I just like it because I just like it. In Me other too. words, it's a fun <laughs> sport. You guys, you know, like bodybuilding, you like the big muscles. I like them too. Well, All right? right. But, you know, I always like to think, you know, or, you know, I think that, um, you know, it's nice if you can have uh, a good hybrid. In other words, you can be, a lot of bodybuilders are, they look strong, but they're just, they're not very strong. They're not strong. They're just yes. not, all right? I would like to be able to, and I think that this is probably what everybody would like to. You sort of want to look the part. You also want to, somebody, you know, well, get you in the gym. You want to be able to do yeah, it. Yeah, you want to yeah. be able to do yeah. it. And, but that, you know, that, that's just me, but I think that that's probably most people. They want to look good. They want to be strong as well. Oddly enough, I think a lot of people, <clears throat> at least these days, don't care about the strength as much as they used to. I, think. I mean, aesthetics. you see a lot of, a lot of it's, it's just the way they look, and, and that baffles me because mm -hmm. I love lifting heavyweights. So. Well, I think, I think you're starting to finally see, you know, a lot of people that are looking towards functional fitness. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think even CrossFit, you know, things like that. 
have uh, have helped that. That it's not just about right. how you look. It's you know what can you do with it? Right. You look great, but right. what can you do with it? Right. Are you actually athletic?